Hello everyone, this is Erica with Technology Goddess and ThemeZoom, and I'm back for part two of my series on open social and open ID applications. So now we're going to talk about Google, Friend Connect, Social Graph API, and Social Value Ranking. So Friend Connect is basically Google's new um, social network that they're going to be rolling out here, hopefully very soon. And it uses open social, open ID, and folk technology. And it is essentially your network anywhere you want to place it. You can take the Google Friend Connect um, widgets, which are essentially iframes, and you can embed them on any page on any website. So you can turn your blog into a social network instantly and bring in the rest of your network with you so that people are able to comment, interact, and join your blog community. And you'll also be able to interact with that community on other websites as well. So it's a brilliant, innovative idea, and I cannot wait for Google Friend Connect to launch. There's going to be a lot of new information that I'm going to be coming out with about Google Friend Connect, so stay tuned for that. Next, we have Social Graph API on Google. Now, if you go to Google's Social Graph API page, you're going to find a note that says, we currently index XFN, folk markups, and other publicly declared connections, Google. What this means, again, as we talked about in part one, is that if you have a folk file, an XFN markup on your website, declaring who your network is, where your websites are, who your friends are, and your friends of friends, they're going to follow that sitemap of your network, and it is indexable. And so that's very important for those of you who are in SEO and who want to implement your social networks for business use in order to leverage from social value to market value in your networks. Next, we're going to talk about social value ranking. Social value ranking is a patent that Google filed over two years ago and has only just recently released to the public. Essentially, what it means is that Google is assigning a ranking value to your profiles and your network. And it is based on several very distinct APIs that are publicly listed in the patent. Um, it is based on how many people are in your network, as well as the influence that you hold within your network. What do I mean by influence? It means um, how many people are actually clicking on the videos on your page? How many people are actually clicking on your blog links and reading your blog? You see, that is influence with your network. People who post things on their profiles and they don't get any click-throughs may have 500 friends in their network on MySpace, but are they influential? No, because nobody cares what they're writing about. So the Google bot would tag them as being less influential as someone who maybe only has 200 friends, but they read their blog every day. Okay? Um, another one of the algorithms considers your friends' influence and how powerful your friends are. In other words, it's not just you, but also who you know. So if you have somebody in your network who's very powerful and influential, perhaps a celebrity with an extremely large network, that's going to boost the power of your network, too, in Google's eyes, because that brings kind of a, a bleed-through of authority to you, so, so to speak. In other words, if you know Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan stops by your site and reads your blog every once in a while, well, Google takes note of that, and you can bet that there may be a Nike ad on your page at some point from Google AdWords. Um, it also takes into consideration who the alpha networkers are in any social network. In other words, the Social Graph API is going to read your folk and your XFN markups, and it's going to create a beautiful visual map in cyberspace of your network. And you can actually go to the Google Graph um, API, and you can look at a visual mapping of your network. It's pretty amazing stuff, and it's still right now in beta. It's not fully released. Um, so they're probably going to have even more amazing things come out of this in the future that you can play with. But it, it looks essentially at your network, and it sees who the powerful influencers are. In other words, how many people are linked to you? How many people are linked to them? How many people are linked to them? What does your visual graph look like? 
And if you are an alpha networker, in other words, if you're someone who has a lot of influence and a lot of links and a lot of power in the network, that's going to show up in the social graph of who you are on the internet. It's almost like your footprint in cyberspace, your footprint in Web 2.0. How big is your footprint and how deep is your footprint? How much influence and power do you have overall on the internet? Um, so they're also going to look at how often you post. And um, again, as we said earlier, who's actually reading your posts. Um, now, we don't really know the extent of how much Google is actually assigning as far as weight with the social value ranking. But something that I hope to find out soon, because I have an interview coming up with a developer at Google, which I will be sharing with all of you soon. And one of the questions I'm going to ask him is about the social value ranking patent that Google has and how they are actually utilizing that in determining the rank value of pages. So I hope that I've cleared up some of the confusion about open social applications here tonight. And give us a review of everything, please, from beginning to end, a summary of, okay. how, they, of how they all connect in one line. Okay, great. So I'll give you a fast review, as Russell said, of how everything connects before we wrap up. So we have open social which essentially is a Google campaign that most of the other networks have all joined except for Facebook. Open Social is the vision of APIs that work across all social networks and that the code is open to the open source development community in order to inspire innovation. And so we've had a lot of great new applications that have come out of the open source movement. Next we have OpenID. The vision of OpenID is one login to rule them all. That you should only have one login that you can use on every network and that you don't have to remember all those IDs and passwords. Next we have OpenID and data portability. The vision of data portability is that you have one profile to rule them all and that it's me everywhere I go. That you can bring yourself with you to every network and every profile. How do you do that? through your both friend of a friend XML file, or through XFN, or a combination of them both. Lastly, we have some of the Google initiatives that utilize all three of these, which are Friend Connect, Social Graph API, and Social Value Ranking. And again, Friend Connect is Google's new social network, which is only in very limited release at this time. There's a very small number of sites that have been open to this. They're going to start rolling out in stages very soon. Then we have Social Graph API, which is essentially the map of your both and XFN network. And then we have Social Value Ranking, which is um, essentially Google's patented algorithm for determining who the alpha networkers are out there and how big your imprint is in cyberspace. So this is Erica of Technology Goddess and ThemeZoom. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon.